What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video where I'm going to demonstrate how you can play digital games from the American or Japanese PlayStation Store on your European PlayStation account. And that will of course also work the other way around, that you can download digital games from the European Japanese PlayStation Store and play that game on your American PlayStation account. Now the reason for making this video right now is that a few of my subscribers reached out to me and asked how I could play that late 2015 video game called Skyscrappers when I don't live in the UK. Or the US, for that matter of case. Because that game is only available in the US and in the UK. Now I live in Denmark uh, and it is not available on the European PlayStation Store, but I now have it. So as you probably can tell, I have a European PlayStation account and I have used an American PlayStation account to get the game uh, and play it on my European account. So I will now demonstrate how to actually do this and it really doesn't matter whether you have a uh, Japanese and American or a European PlayStation account as your primary PS4 account, this will work on every single one. Just know that huh, if you create the, um, the Japanese account, everything will be in Japanese, but if you know that uh, the PS4 interface as good as I do, you will have no problems finding everything inside the interface. So, as you're already in your primary PS4 account here, you will go and lock out of your PS4. Now once this is done, here we go, um, into the other account now, okay, two seconds, <laughs> we have to switch user, sorry. Uh, so once we're out here on this screen, uh, we will go and of course create a new user, and create a user, accept, next, now there are a lot of steps to do this, uh, now this is the default uh, login uh, screen right here. But you're going to go, go down here into the button and create a new PlayStation account. Now please note that the trophies and multiplayer do work on your European account if you choose to download an, an American game. So even though it's from a different region, it still works perfectly. So just click sign up now and here we go. So once you're on this screen, you will need to... Uh, make that choice of yours that really create your account in a specific region. So if I, for example, put in the country Sweden here, uh, I would have access to the European PlayStation account. Uh, if I selected Japan, uh, Japan uh, I would have access to the Japanese store. Now, if we're uh, going down to the button where it says United States, so we're done with the use, right there, uh, you will now have access to the American PlayStation uh, network. So of course there's only English languages and as I stated before, if you actually choose Japanese, it will only be in Japanese language and you can't change it to English. So just enter your date of birth or whatever. This is of course not my date of birth, but we're just going to do it very quickly. Next. Alright, so once you're on this screen, you will need to enter your home location. Now I'm pretty confident that you don't have an address in both Europe and somewhere in America so of course we will need to insert a fake or a random address here. You can just google some addresses in the large cities in that region that you're about to enter or use some google maps. Uh, since I'm creating an American account I would just put in Alaska here. Uh, so the possible code uh, for Seward which is the city is 99664. And the city is Seward and the state is of course Alaska and it will put it in automatically which is nice. So just uh, click next. So once you're done with that you will need to enter the email that you want to set up the account with. Uh, I have just created a fake email address so I can just enter this. It's uh, I'm awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm awesome 2929 and it's oh that's outlook dot com. Here we go. And password. Uh well okay, uh let's just say KK U U uh 4422. So what did I say? I said KK UU4422. You, you, two, two. Alright, let's click next. Alright, so just 
choose whatever fits you here uh, online idea you can just suggest one you don't really need this unless you're actually planning on playing on your American or European uh, account first name blah 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 good game good game good game here we go okay 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 oh that, that's unfortunate sorry um, all right so it doesn't matter with this just skip it confirm 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 all right, remember to accept these terms of user agreement. All right, so you will now get an email. I will just go here and, uh, and confirm it. I will get an email right in a second. I got it right now. We'll verify now. And thank you. You have successfully verified your email address. I'm awesome, 2929, yes. So click already verified. All right, it is now verified, which is good. All right, well, uh, fuck Facebook. <clears throat> All right, just uh, skip this. You don't need PlayStation Plus to actually do this. It doesn't cost anything to do this. All right, so here comes the important step. Uh, we're actually gonna uh, do this later, so you, you can just click activate, uh, but I will just explain this in a second. So I'm going to click do not activate. All right, so once I'm in here, uh, you can see that there's a lot of games here. Uh, and uh, those are from my, my other accounts. So here is the important step. Uh, while you're now able to play the games on your PS4, they're currently restricted to your uh, USN uh, sorry, US PSN account or whatever it is uh, that you got or your European PSN account or Japanese. Now luckily there's a way to play the US games on your regular PSN account or I wouldn't even be making this video. Uh, everything will work. Single player, multiplayer, getting trophies as I explained earlier, it simply just works perfectly. Now to be able to play uh, the US games on my European account, I will have to define my PS4 as the primary console in the US PSN account. And it actually does make sense because if you do go and define your PS4 as your primary console to a US PSN account, everything that you purchase on that account is shared uh, with the other accounts on your PlayStation 4. So to do this, we will need to go into settings, then go into PlayStation Network uh, account management, um, and then activate it as our primary PS4. Uh, and we'll go into here. Now you're probably already activated on your, uh, that, that account that you're actually on playing right now. So you could just go and deactivate that one. Uh, and I will of course need to go and activate this one. Now, I don't wanna do this uh, with this account since I already have an American PSN account. So I will just quickly log into that first. It is exactly the same as this account. It's also uh, American. And this is the one that is American don't have PS Plus on it. This is actually the account that I bought Skyscrapers on. Um, now, I will just go and define this, uh, uh, define it as my primary PS4. So go into Place and Network Account Management as before and activate as your primary PS4 and just say activate. Now it's already activated because it didn't activate it before. So no worries, but if we'll activate it here, it's gonna be there. So, um, that is actually it for making all of these things. So if we'll just quickly go into the place in store, uh, we can just find a game that we're sure of is not on the European. We can just take that skyscrapers once again, and we can see that it's here. So we actually got a confirmation on that this is actually uh, the American place in store. We see Scribescribers right there. We can just play with another game that I'm pretty sure isn't on the uh, European place in store, uh, which is Belonger World. So let's just go here. Spelunger World. This is a free game that is only available on the American. Uh, PSN and is not available on the 
European uh, placing uh, network. So if we just go here and, and download it, I'm not quite sure if there's enough space. That would be a pretty big fail. But uh, yeah, it does, it does work. So it's should be downloading right now. Yep, but it does rack up 11.6 gigabytes of my hard drive disk. But as you can see right here, it is right there. So yeah, it will take 39 minutes. But uh, I've already downloaded Skyscrapers from the American uh, Placement Store. So we can just go into my European Placement Store and see if uh, the game is there and if I can actually play it and obtain trophies from it. And also play the multiplayer, of course. So as you can see, that American is actually here because I activated the PSN account, uh, the, the American PSN account, as my primary PS4. So it is here, and when this is done downloading, I can go and play this on my European account and unlock trophies for this game, even though it's an American and it does work uh, with the trophies, trophies and it does work with the multiplayer, it is just working perfectly. Uh, Keep in mind that you can do this with every single region out there. You can also do it with, with the Japanese. And we all know that Japanese games are pretty expensive to import to, for example, let's say, uh, it would probably cost a hundred bucks each. Uh, the good thing about it is to go in to the American store and actually go and, uh, and download games from there is that they are much cheaper. They're all almost twice as cheap because we're giving out between 80 and 90 bucks for each game. That is a full price here in Europe for a video game. Uh, where it is in, um, on the American Place and Store, it roughly costs uh, between 40 bucks and 60 bucks. So we will uh, get a huge discount on that and we could just download and play it on a European by doing this. I'm not quite sure if uh, Sony is gonna fix this but uh, this is actually coming in pretty uh, th this is this is pretty handy. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome that you can go in and do this because there are a lot of games that aren't available on the different kind of regions that are only exclusive to one region and you can go and play the multiplayer and the, unlock the trophies. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that I helped you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I will do everything I can to help you. Bye.